Hello and a warm welcome to this new podcast series from BMW where we'll be exploring electric myths. I'm your host for today. I'm sat in the driving seat. I'm Charlie Martin. I'm a racing driver and I'm joined by my co-host sat next to me. Hello, I'm Tommy. I talk about tech and gadgets online, review cars, especially EVs. So I'm happy to be here. Thanks, Tommy. And um, where are we? We are in the lovely, the iconic BMW Velt, which is amazing. You see cars rolling around here, um, electric cars everywhere. So we're in the right place. And we're sat in the BMW iX M60. What a great place to be. Great car. It's an EV with long range and one of the best EVs out there. Absolutely. And today's myth that we're going to be exploring is that electric cars take a long time, too long, in fact, to charge. Or do they? I don't know. What do you think, Tommy? <laughs> what, what do you do when you're charging your car? I think, first of all, when I charge my car, I park up, I go for a quick coffee break, um, grab a quick snack. And, some, you know, sometimes I'll come back in the car if it's not ready yet and I'd watch Netflix on my phone or something like that just to relax for a little bit. And I think it helps for a, especially on a long journey. So a little break helps. Yeah, nice to just break things up and uh, take a bit of your time. That's it. It's, it's actually an excuse for me to do that because in my line of work, I barely, I rarely have time off or time to myself. So actually that, that quick half an hour or so in the car, that's when I get to relax and just have a little thing to myself, time to myself. I'm glad to hear that you're treating yourself to these little moments of luxury. <laughs> exactly. Thanks to EVs. <laughs> there you go, you see. Straight away, well, we're going to dive in and, and look at some facts here, because when it comes to charging EVs, it's really important to understand, actually, that, you know, there's various different options in terms of how long it's going to take, mm-hmm. whether you're using AC or DC. Um, so I think, first off, we need to get a bit of a, a, an understanding of the lie of the land of how, how this all works, right? Absolutely. Absolutely. We have, like you mentioned already, we have AC, we have DC. There's also one called HPC. I think, but for most of us, the AC DC one would be one that we'll be familiar with or what we're going to experience um, when we buy an electric car. Uh, AC is slower, it's alternating currents, and that's all science and physics, which we won't get into. Um, well, DC is direct current, which is a lot faster. That's the one you see out and about. You can get up to 350 kilowatts of fast charge, which in a car like the iX uh, M60, you can go uh, 10 to 80% in 35 minutes or so. I can grab a coffee, take a little break, and I'm back on the road. And that's assuming you actually need that amount of charge in the car. Yeah. You know, let's be honest, you, you might only need a little top up. So you might even be half of that. That's it. And we were, we were talking about this. It's, it's, it's an education thing. It's getting used to a new culture. Mm-hmm. Uh, and for me, I think um, we, we often think like in, in a combustion engine car, we top up, we fill up the tank, even if we don't need it. But in an electric car, you don't have to. Yeah. It might be that I only need 20 miles for the rest of the week and I can just have a quick top up. So even if I want to spend 10 minutes quick break I can top up for 10 minutes and unplug and carry on and off you go yeah yeah so let's just have a quick look at the different types of charges as well mm. so you you know you've got your typical three pin uh, you know like you plug your your television into at home um, in the UK that's around what seven kilowatts I think in Germany that's something like 2.4 2.3 yeah, 2.3 here in in Germany yeah overnight from flat that's going to take you a full a full night of, of charge potentially mm-hmm. But then you've got your wall box, which is something like 11 kilowatt, I yeah. think. So, you know, again, you can, you can just hook up to that and, you know, you're going to get a pretty quick charge. That's it. And with those charges, it just means overnight charge is all you need. And like we said in, in another episode, uh, when we talk about range, for example, you can just have a fully charged car every morning, which is, for me, that's incredible. You wake up, you have your toast, your coffee. That's it. That's you're it. good to go. That's it. And then DC, we have... Like we were saying, typically up to 200 kilowatts, but in some cases with um, IONIT, we can get 350 kilowatts, which is fast. It's very fast. Wow. Yeah. yeah. And, and important to point out as well that, you know, the charging infrastructure is increasing all the time. I think I read that in Europe, BMW customers have the option of something like four, over 425,000 charging stations throughout wow. Europe. Yeah, so that's a lot. Yeah, and that number is increasing all the time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So there's no excuse. There's always a charging station somewhere. Yeah, you're never far away from one. From one, yeah. Okay. Yeah, that's, that's, in, that's incredible. Yeah, it's a lot of charging. And it's worth mentioning as well, there are some pretty cool offers out there. So I was reading that BMW North America has teamed up with Electrify America to offer 2022 BMW customers two years worth of 30 minute free charging sessions from the date of purchasing your car. Wow. So 
that's a pretty amazing offer, See, actually. You're basically, you're, you're basically driving your car for free. Yeah, it's like getting <laughs> two years worth of free fuel. Free. Yeah, yeah. Right? That's, that's awesome. And that's all you need, really. Yeah. Because on a fast charge like that, that's, that's yeah. pretty quick. It's a massive saving, actually, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. Any tips for, mm. if I'm getting into EV, any tips for charging? Well, one thing to point out is that your, you know, the temperature of your battery has a big effect on, you know, how quickly the battery can actually receive the charge. Okay. So BMWs actually have this really clever system where um, it, it's like a heat management um, system that knows when you're going to charge okay. onto a fast charger. So it actually preheats the battery a little bit. Nice. Yeah. So it's preconditioning it to make sure preconditioning it's ready for, for charging. Exactly. And all these things help as well with the longevity of the battery. That's cool. Um, one tip that I've got okay. is when you get in your car, it will tell you in an EV, it will tell you to charge up to 80% to preserve the life of the battery and also to make it as optimal as it can be for charging. So if you're not doing long journeys, so if I'm only doing school runs or whatever every day, mm -hmm. there's no need to charge the hundred percent because it affects the longevity of your battery. So when you charge, a tip from me would be, charge to 80% if you're not driving long distances. But if you are, that's also okay. Uh huh. So it's better to just top it up every now and again, as opposed to just trying to cram the electricity. That's it. So I'm not very technical. But, <laughs> and, yeah. and also don't wait for it to go completely flat before you start charging it. So ah. my, my rule of thumb is I always, I don't go below 20%. So as long as I hit 20%, I need to charge it back up. Right. Anything below that, I'm pushing it. <laughs> it's time to get Netflix out and have a bit yeah, of me yeah, time. Yeah. That's it, that's it. <laughs> yeah, I like it. Yeah. Any more tips? So here's another one for you. If it's the height of summer, it's good to park the car in the shade. And conversely, if it's coming into winter, it's good to maybe park the car in the garage if you've got the option of using one. Gotcha. Um, just not exposing the battery to really high extremes of temperature you can do that but in terms of like extending the battery's life longer and longer these are all things that are going to be beneficial in the long run great some amazing tips there yeah, yeah. i feel like i've learned a lot in this episode. <laughs> i've definitely learned a lot in terms of what you can and can't do and i think for anyone coming into the world of ev they've learned about different types of charges I think that can be one of the hardest things, you know, not knowing how it works. You know, I, yeah. I'll be honest, I don't really know a lot about electricity, mm -hmm. um, but actually just understanding, okay, you've got a three pin plug, you've got a wall socket, uh, a wall box even, you've mm -hmm. got your public charging stations. Actually, when you break it down, you're only talking about three or four different types of charger. Yeah. It, it quickly makes sense. Yeah. And I think ultimately understanding that these different chargers offer diff offers different speeds mm. also helps you to understand what you're doing because I think for a lot of people the myth is oh it charges too slow or they might hear their friend say oh it took me 24 hours to charge but really if you ask the question what was the charge speed at the charge station then you understand that oh yeah of course it's going to take 24 hours but here are other options that you can do and I think in a car like the iX M60 the maps are programmed to actually take you to different types of different stations right. so you can actually program it to say right, I'm running really low, I need a fast charge. Mm -hmm. You can pick the INET ones on the map, so it'll direct you to where you need to go. It'll do all this for you automatically. It'll do all this for you, so you can wow. have that as part of your planning, so you can go to the right stations mm -hmm. that will offer you the right speeds that you want. Mm -hmm. So that's, that's something to bear in mind. And also to add to the, to the routing and planning situation, well, you don't even have to do that in the car. You can do that before you get into it. So if you're planning the night before, you can use uh, my BMW app. You can sort of navigate and plot your route and it will take you to the charging station that you need along the way. You can even adjust and filter by speeds and type and stuff like that. So there's a lot of tools and resources available to make it a pleasant experience. The text will be out into the app. It does Ex all for you. It just exactly. makes your life easy, right? Exactly, exactly. Wow, I feel like I've learned so many things today. Yes, absolutely. <laughs> I think in summary, we've learned about charge speeds, different charge types, and actually the myth that it takes long to charge cars can be somewhat true because it depends what charging station you use, but really and truly, there are plenty of options there that allows you to charge slowly or fast. It depends on what you want. Yeah, in practical terms, the options are all there. Absolutely. You make the choice. Yeah. Well, there you go, folks. If you found that interesting, then please tune in for our next episode of Electric Myths and make sure you follow and like this podcast and we'll join you at the next episode. Thank See you. See you in the next one.